Thor's duel with Hrungnir. Hrungnir, aka the Brawler, was the mightiest of all the giants who were often the enemies of the gods. So one day Odin decided to pay him a visit in Jotunheim, the giant's realm. Hrungnir didn't recognize the god at first, and instead wondered aloud who the stranger might be whose horse could ride through the air and the water, as he had seen the horse do at the god's approach. Odin wagered his life that his horse, the eight-legged shamanic steed Sleipnir, could outrun any horse in Jotunheim. This angered Hrungnir, who immediately accepted the bet and rode his own horse Gullfaxi. They ran through mud and streams, up steep rocky hills and into dense forests. The giant had walked past the gates of Asgard, the abode of the gods, before he realized it. And of course, he had yet to catch up with Odin and Sleipnir. The gods who appeared to be in excellent spirits invited him in to join them for drinks. After he had become drunk, he became belligerent and boasted that he would kill all of the gods, except for Freya and Sif, the wife of Thor. He got aggressive after becoming intoxicated, boasting that he would murder all the gods, save Freya and Sif, Thor's wife. He said he would take these two magnificent deities back to Jotunheim with him. Freya was brave enough to keep filling his horn. He then declared that he would drink every last drop of the gods' ale. The gods soon grew tired of his anger and sent for Thor, who had been elsewhere fighting other giants. When Thor came and realized what was going on, he raised his hammer and prepared to murder Hrungnir right then on the spot. Spot. Thor was accused of cowardice by the bellicose giant for wanting to murder someone who was defenseless. Your name would be held in far higher honor, the tall man said, if you will accept my challenge to a duel. Thor never wanted to pass up an opportunity to achieve fame and demonstrate his powers, accepted. When the scheduled moment came, Hrungnir proceeded to the meadow near Jotunheim where the duel would take place. He donned stone armor, wielded a stone shield, and menacingly flourished his chosen weapon, a whetstone, in the air above him. Suddenly, he saw lightning and heard thunder clap above him, and Thor roared onto the battlefield. Thor hurled his hammer at the giant, and the giant slung his whetstone at the god. The stone burst against Thor's forehead and shattered into pieces. And this is the origin of all flint on Earth. Thor's hammer also struck Hrungnir's head, but this time it was the giant's head that was shattered. But a piece of Hrungnir's whetstone was lodged in Thor's forehead. So Thor went in search of the sorceress Groa, who sung spells over the stone in order to remove it off the god's brow. When Thor felt the stone moving, he told the sorceress many joyous things to encourage her, chiefly that he had encountered her lost husband, who would soon be home. Groa was so overcome with emotion upon hearing this that she forgot her chance, and the rock remained lodged in Thor's face until his death at Ragnarok.